smash the fat wasn't completely about losing weight or losing fat, it was about feeling like I was doing exercise, feeling like I was actually moving and doing, apart from just walking from my desk to the canteen kind of thing. So I just feel a lot more confident in my physical ability now as well, being the size and the stature that I am. You know, when I first come in, I couldn't do the stuff. People come up and say, come on, you can do it. I'm thinking, oh, okay, this is cool. Like if you go to the gym, you don't get that. You're just in the gym doing anything. And when you can't do it, you think, and then go and sit in the sauna, which is what I used to or do. Or go and have a slice of cake. Yes, or a drink. I've had a personal trainer which, who actually made me feel like I was wasting his time and that I wasn't worth his effort because he had more elite kind of clients that he could deal with. And I really didn't like that feeling at all. I didn't want to do other um, exercise classes where they practically shout at you. I needed something that I was going to be encouraged to do and that I was going to enjoy doing. And I actually, sad sad it is, it is to say, but I actually do enjoy coming here. Yeah. And I think I need something to make me want to come here. And I think that's, that's the, the, the thing that keeps me coming back is that I want to be here. Apart from the added benefits of toning up and losing fat and all that, I actually do want to come here. For me, I think the toning up, I feel, felt it more like every day when I put my clothes on. I think, oh, okay, it feels Things a bit, bit, bit better. Yeah, it's like, oh gosh, you can button, it's great. <laughs> Don't need a safety pin, you know, so <laughs> that's how it's helping me for toning up. Before I started this, and one of the reasons why I started this is because I was just like, I think I was running for a bus or something, and I was like, oh god, no, this is ridiculous. And I told everybody I'm nearly 40, four weeks' time. Like, <laughs> send all cards to smash the fat. Um, and I just decided that I needed to do something because it's just ridiculous because I'm going to be 50 and I'm not going to be able to move. So for me, definitely. But it's also you don't feel so scared about taking uh, flight of stairs. Exactly. Up, rather you actually than want to the take flight of stairs. You know, sprinting up the escalators yeah. at the station and stuff. Yeah. So, oh. And you actually do feel proud that you can actually do that yeah. and not feel completely out of breath and almost at the point of collapsing at the top of it. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. The nutritional plan as well helps you if you don't know where to start. If you yeah. do want to change, sometimes people know that they need to change the nutrition but they have no idea where to start. They, you know, they just have no idea. It's just yeah. the scary aspect. So if you have a nutritional plan in front of you and you can see how easy it is to kind of follow, then you've got something that you can build on and you can tailor it to your own to your own workings yeah. and stuff. Like culturally, we have a lot of carbs in our exactly. diet. Exactly. But Loads. I can't follow the nutritional plan completely, but I can use aspects of it to help me along the way. So it does, you can use it and follow it you know, completely or you can just take aspects, aspects of it and, of it. and adapt it to your lifestyle, which I think is great.